The third and final F2L case that I'm going to teach you is where you have a corner sticker where the cross colour is facing upwards. In the first two cases when we solved our F2L pairs, what we did was we hid the corner in the bottom layer, for example, moved the edge around the top layer and brought the corner back up to either put the edge in that position and leave the corner here for, the, for case one, or to match them up either here or here for the second case. In this case, we're not going to be hiding the corner, but we're going to be hiding the edge into the middle layer. So I'll show you what to do now. So let's try and solve this white, green and red corner piece, which has the red and green edge piece over here. So the basic process for solving these cases is to firstly align this edge sticker on the side with the center. So like we did in the beginner method with the middle layer edges, the first step is to always align this edge sticker that's facing outwards with the center sticker of the same color. From there, we figure out where it needs to go. So this one needs to go down here and this corner needs to also go down here. In, so they both belong in this slot. So then what we do to hide the edge piece, we bring it away from the slot where it needs to go. So in this case, this piece belongs here. So we don't hide it down here into its correct position. We hide it the other way, away from the slot. Then what we do is using the top layer, we rotate the corner directly above where that edge piece is. So for example, here, we hid the edge piece in the back here. We wanna solve this corner piece. So we bring it directly on top. After we do that, we bring the edge piece back into the top layer and the edge and corner piece will be matching. From here, we simply have a paired up F2L pair in our top layer and I showed you how to solve these cases in the F2L case two video. So either it will need to go to the right like this or you'll have the mirrored case over here in which case you need to bring it into the left slot. So to simply insert this pair, we do a U, R, U prime, R prime. And that's it. So let's do another case where we'll solve the green and red F2L pair. So we have the corner in its position, but it's incorrectly oriented down here. And we also have the edge up here. So these are the two pieces that we want to solve. At the moment, this corner is in the bottom layer. So we can bring it up into the top layer by doing RU R prime. Now we have this case where we have the white corner sticker facing upwards. Here, the two pieces are connected to one another. So we need to find a way to split them up. So we can hide the white corner like this, move the edge across, and then bring the corner back up to, to split up this edge and this corner. Now we still have the same case where the white sticker on the corner is facing upwards. So what we do is we move the edge piece so that the sticker facing outwards, not upwards, is aligned with the corresponding center like we did before. Now we need to figure out which way to hide this edge. So remember, we need to hide it in the direction away from the slot where it needs to go. So for example, this edge needs to go into this slot. So we can't hide it like this. We need to hide it away from this slot. So we need to hide it back here, like that. Then we need to bring this corner on top of the edge, like so, and then unhide the edge. Now you'll have the F2L pair paired up and it needs to go into this left slot on this occasion. So we do U prime, L prime to bring up the slot, U to move it across and L to bring the slot and the pair back down. So that's the end of the third case. Once you've watched this video a few times, I would strongly, strongly recommend to watch the F2L example solve videos where I do example solutions solving the entire F2L. F2L takes a lot of patience and practice to get used to. So the best thing that I would suggest right now is just watch heaps of examples and just try and digest and understand what I'm doing and the process that I'm using to solve the F2L pairs.